Welcome back. You're watching our special episode of Young Turks where we look back at the 20-year journey of India's longest-running show on startups. Now, here's a trip down memory lane with some trailblazers from the startup universe. Take a look. Try something uh, different, something new, and probably different from banking. Uh, this happened about uh, '99, and uh, to use a cliche, I think I was uh, bitten by the by the net bug. And uh, at that point in time, I was working with GE Capital, and uh, I started exploring uh, ideas in terms of what businesses had really moved to the internet successfully, and which were those that you know one can make an interesting business of. Also, which of those is going to work in India? Because these are very early days for the internet in India. And I think the real downturn started coming around 2001. 2001, of course, was a double whammy mm -hmm. and, you know, 9-11 and then uh, December 13th attack on Parliament and then SARS. And it was just a terrible time. But by that time, the, you know, the deal was already done. Uh, but uh, so I, I really looked at two sectors, travel and uh, online uh, stock trading. And both were very, very interesting sectors. Both had done very well overseas and even now. So what and tilted things in favor of the travel industry and not online trading? Because you could have been sitting on a pile of cash right now with the markets and pretty much touching new record highs every single day. Uh, travel was something I think innately I, I really, really loved. In India, gaming has been growing at an average of 75 to 80% year on year. And that was without broadband connections. With a big hike in internet speeds coming up today, with uh, you know 4G coming in, 3G coming in, we assume that we can safely assume that gaming is going to grow at a minimum of about 150% year on year for the next two to three years. Also because gaming is something that will carry on to other devices. So you know with the advent of the iPad and the iPhone as well as the Android OS which will you know Motorola, Samsung, all of them are launching their own devices. Gaming will play an integral part of expanding the reach of all these devices to the local consumer, to the mass market. Because everyone wants to play a game. You know you might, everyone might not want to check out you know like a, maybe a cricket website or a sports or like a football website but everyone wants to play games Hi, I'm Prasenjit Roy Chaudhary. I'm 34 years. I'm the CEO of Barbecue Nation. I intend to bring up 200 Barbecue Nation in next five years. Straight out of hotel management school recruited directly into Sayaji hotels he climbed his way to the top to become the CEO of Barbecue Nation. Prasenjit Roy Chaudhary began Barbecue Nation in 2006. His experience in the hospitality industry and F&B management helped him introduce the idea of cook-it-yourself outlets across India. On offer is a variety of cuisines done from Mediterranean, American, Oriental and Asian origin. Test marketed in Mumbai, Barbecue Nation became an instant success. But what makes it work? We have an USP of having a live grill right onto the table, uh, which is, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, the fun part of uh, the cooking is being transported from the kitchen, wherein, you know, you have an opportunity as a guest to finish the skewers onto your own test. So, uh, more of freshness, if you ask me, more of uh, barbecue is a healthy cuisine. So, we try to bring in health and taste together. Mobile has been in existence for about the last one and a half, two years. But the iPhone and the Android has really been a, a revelation for us. We've seen it grow from a 0.5% contribution to about 3 to 4% uh, in the last six, eight months, which has been fantastic. We've seen about 100,000 downloads on each of the two platforms. Uh, we're recasting some of our strategies on the older handsets. So uh, it's going to be a couple of these things, us recasting our strategy for the lower handsets, uh, making sure that we are ready for the sub $50, sub $60 handset, uh, making sure that we are there when 3G and 4G packages are cheaper, maybe partnering with some mobile companies, 
to offer that as a part of the data plan, uh, maybe even billing tickets on to the plan, right, which is a prepaid or a postpaid plan. So valuations will come and go. But if you focus on the quality of your input and just consider valuations as a byproduct to that, uh, I, th I think you'll be far more successful. For me, uh, the true test of uh, running a business or entrepreneurship or doing it for a long period of time is the true test is, are your Friday evenings as happy and exciting for you as Monday mornings are? All right. And uh, the day your answer is that both of them are equal, you continue doing what you do. Okay. The day you say that they're not equal, uh, then you've got to you know, rethink and look inward. I realized, uh, you know, early on is this is a space around which no brand has been built. So when, you know, uh, sort of left my job and started working with our team and thinking through this in a more analytical fashion, we realized that there are a lot of things which are being taken for granted around chai. For example, we learned that, uh, you know, clean, hygienic chai is not that easily accessible as it is assumed. Uh, we learned that uh, even though tea bags and tea machines are there in large corporates, the level of uh, dissatisfaction with chai is just tremendously high. So then it was very clear to us that uh, chai desperately needs a consistent branded experience and that it has large takers in spite of sort of having the perception that it's something which is available very commonly. Well, that's just a glimpse of the stories we brought you here on Young Turks over the past two decades. Yes, that's right. We have clocked the 20 milestone. And that brings us to a close on this special edition of Young Turks. We will, of course, bring you more magic from the archives. But for now, thanks for watching.